Okay, sixth grade lesson 105. This one is on using proportions to solve percent problems. So basically what we're going to do is take a word problem and learn how to set it up and then write an equation. So let's just review something really quick. Remember us doing percents? Yep. What does that look like as a fraction? It would be 30 over 100. Very good. But then you reduce it. And all okay. That. Yeah, we're not going to do all that. Okay. But that's just something I want you to see really quick. Now, listen to this problem, and you're going to help me set it up. It says 30% of the paintings were portraits. If there were 12 portraits, how many paintings were there in all? Now, what you're going to learn to do is draw a ratio and percent box okay now what you've learned so far is to do ratio and actual count mm -hmm. but this time you're going to do percent and actual count okay because we didn't hear a ratio five out of seven boys went to da 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 we didn't hear a ratio we heard a percent and we heard an actual count right yep. the actual amount okay now did you hear what was being counted what were the different things 30% uh, of the paintings were portraits. Yep. Okay, so did it tell us what the other percent were? No, it just tells no. us that 30% were portraits. And Some then the question, question is... Is, um, if there were 12 portraits, how many paintings were there in all? So, I'm going to say portraits, not portraits, and then all, or total. Mm -hmm. Portraits. Total. Okay, so now let's enter in the information that they told us. 30% of the paintings were portraits. So where's that going to go? 30% were A portraits. Percent in portrait. Very good. 30, right here. Okay? Then it says this. If there were 12 portraits, 12 actual count under the portraits, portraits, 12 actual count, um, how many paintings were there in all? So that they're asking for the percent total. Not percent. Actual count total. How many paintings were there in all? So we want to know um, A for all, paintings for all. Yeah. I would put a P, but P is for portraits. So let's do A for all. Now. Or a question mark. Or a question mark. That's a good idea. Let's just do that. Or an N. Or an X. We'll just do a question mark. Okay. Now, what do we know about percents? Okay. What's a total in a percent? A uh, hundred. That helps us to know that. Okay. Now, could I determine what this is? Oh, so it'd be hundred minus thirty. Uh huh. Which would be which would be seventy. 90. Yeah. Now we're happen to not going to need this, this or this because we know this and this and we know this, but the only thing we don't know is this. So do you remember? I think a few weeks ago we took information that we know everything about a row. And the row that we want to know about. Yes. And we put them on top of each other. Oh, yeah. 30 over 100. 100 so this doesn't even matter. Yeah. Okay? 30 over 100 equals 12 over, I'm going to put an X now that we're down here. It's easier. See what I did? You can use anything you want. Okay. Okay. Now, remember what we do? Sometimes we can find a function. Yeah. But this one we, we can't. Do we cross multiply? So we're going to have to cross multiply. Okay. 30 times x equals 10 times 12, which is 1,200. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this, what I just finished, and we'll put it down here. 30 times what equals 1,200. How am I going to figure out the answer to that? So we do... Hmm. 30 times what equals 1,200? Right. So okay. to do that in on a paper, you would go... Do we start guessing or... No. Okay. 12, 30 times what equals 1,200? Okay. You're basically doing a division problem. So 30 goes into 120, we'd have to do, uh, I think... Four times. Four times. Because four times three is 12. So four times zero is zero, and four times three is... It isn't is going 12. evenly, though, right? Yeah, it did. Four, four times 30 is 120. Okay. We're still not done yet, though. Yeah. Zero, bring down my zero. 30 will go into zero. 40, right? Zero times, yeah. And that finishes it out. 
So, it's 40. How many total paintings were there in all? 40. 40. Now, could we discover how many were not portraits? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, yeah. This one? The X. Yep. How would we figure that out if we wanted there to? It would be 40 minus 12 would right. be the answer. 28. Yeah. Right? 28, 38, so. 39, 40. Yep. So, if we wanted to discover that, you could. But it's, but it's not important. So, you really just need to know this 40. If you just want the answer, then there's... Right. Okay? Let's do one more. Okay? okay. And I'm going to let you help me figure out where to put everything into the box again like we did. All right? Okay. So, draw another box. Three rows, two columns. And I'm going to put percent on one and actual count on the other side. Percent, actual count. Halfway down. Okay. Okay. Only 40% 40, 40 of the team members played in the game. If 24 team members did not play, then how many did play? What two things are we comparing? Uh, I think, oh, uh, what do you mean? So it's actually a ratio, right? No, 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 not, well, it sounds like it, but listen to the two things we're comparing. A while ago, we were doing portraits, non-portraits, oh, total. So we players and not players. Okay, so... P for players, N for no, no players. That's fine. So players, not players, right? Okay. Okay, and then what's down at the bottom? T for total, or just the total. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Now, you listen to the problem. <laughs> just turn it off for a second. Okay, sorry about that. Had a car alarm going off. Okay, all taken care of now. All right, here's what it says. Only 40% of the team members played in the game. So where would that go? 40% play. So it would be in percent, be the players or whatever. Yep. Yeah. 40% play. Okay. 40. Then it said if 24 team members did not play. 24 and not play. Actual count 24. Oh, really? It didn't say percent. It just said 24 uh, yeah, okay. players. 24 did not play. That's the actual count. Then it says how many did play. So, so they're actually uh, asking for actual count players. Very good. Question mark goes here. Now, okay. do you remember us putting the 100 here? Because there's always 100%? Yeah. Okay. Now, why would that help us? Because then we can use that to figure out the, the percent, percent in this one. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, 40 from 100 is 60, correct? Yep. 40 plus 60 is 100. Good. Now, because I used that to know that it's 60% because I took 100 from 40. Yeah. Got 60. Then I have one row that I have know everything about. Then I have a row that I want to know about. So 60 over 40. No, then... 40 over 60. You do it just like it oh, says. Okay. okay. So here we go. 40 over 60 equals then... X over 24. Yep. Okay. Now... Do you remember how to do this? Uh, oh Cross yeah. multiply 60 times x equals 24 times 40, which, let's see what that is, 24 times 40, 960. So, I'm going to bring it over here. 60 times what equals 960? How do I answer that? You divide right. 960 by 60. Excellent job. Okay, so let's do that. Not 60 times, it's going to have to be 1. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so that's yeah. going to be harder. Um, that gives me 360 after that. 60 will go into 360. Mm, well, I know 6 goes into 36 6 times, so let's try 6. 6 times 60, yay, is going to be 360. We answered it. So, what is our answer? 16. Very good. Now, yeah. could we figure out the total actual count of players and non-players? Yeah. yeah, which is not that important, but there is 40 if we ever wanted to know. Okay, that is lesson 105.